Recall that we mentioned the active site in the previous video. To recap, an active site is where the party happens, where the substrate binds to the enzymes and where the breaking or forming of bonds in the substrate takes place. There is more to the active site than simply being complementary to the substrate in terms of structure and charge. In a party, you'll find different kinds of people. That's why it's a party. Similarly, there are actually four main types of amino acid residues at the active site. The contact, catalytic, structural, and non-essential residues that work together to give the enzyme active site its function. Contact residues are the friendliest people in the party. They create contact. They are responsible for holding the substrate in the correct orientation in the active site such that it is open to chemical attack in the enzymatic reaction. These residues bind to the substrate through weak interactions such as hydrogen bonds for uncharged R groups or ionic bonds for charged R groups. This binding is reversible so products can be easily released after the reaction. Catalytic residues are the party animals. They are the people who make a party fun. Residues, con residues contain the specific R groups which carry out the conversion of the substrate into the product. Structural residues are like the hosts who lend their house for you to party in. They're responsible for maintaining the 3D conformation of the active site, such that it remains complementary in structure to the substrate. What about the non-essential residues? Well, they're non-essential, and they just hang around and pretty much don't do anything. Or at least, we haven't found out what they do yet. 